And my final topic is Best Buy in the Library Square. I know we have quite a few guests in the audience. A lot of you in here have heard me talk about this, but I'm going to just do a quick uh, historical perspective for those who are here for the first time. Back in September 2003, we found out that a movie theater on Van Nuys Boulevard in Millbank was going to be uh, redeveloped and that a big box would be uh, put in that spot. Uh, the neighborhood felt that the traffic uh, plan study that was done by the developer was insufficient and we filed an appeal. And anyone who's driven along Van Nuys Boulevard between the 101 crew and Ventura Boulevard knows that Van Nuys was a nightmare before, it continues to be a nightmare. In fact, I was just trying to make a left-hand turn during rush hour the other day, and because of the frustration of that particular stretch of land, a car decided to make its own double left turn lane and just about smashed into everyone who was trying to make left-hand turns. So I think this is indicative of what, what was there and what continues to be there. Anyway, the neighborhood organized, um, filed an appeal, and in March 2005, we lost our appeal for, to the South Valley Area Planning Commission. April 2005, we received a decision document. We received a revised decision document about a week later, and we discovered that language had been in that revised document had been changed behind the scenes for the benefit of the developer, which would allow them to make the building taller than what was uh, decided during the appeal hearing. We couldn't get the city to change the document back. We went to Plum, we sent letters to city officials, so Soha sued the city. December 2005, Soha prevailed in a lawsuit and succeeded in, this is my favorite part, returning to our losing position. That's right, we filed a lawsuit to get back to the lost appeal Meanwhile, we're trying for long-term traffic mitigation for the neighborhood, and the Library Square neighborhood had a vote that Councilmember Wendy Bull and the DOT was instrumental in putting together for us. And there was a $175,000 contribution by the Best Buy developer, and Councilmember Bull also offered $30,000 to $40,000 in kind. Councilmember Gruel's office notified in April 2007 that permanent bump outs along War Park had been approved by the vote. And additionally, we now have eight blocks approved for speed humps. Again, it's a very long process to get speed humps. So one year after approval of this, the bump outs, we're still in the design phase. Battle for time. Much like what David Rankel just mentioned, there may or may not be a ticking clock. This is a voluntary contribution by the developer. We've, had, we've struggled with DOT, with planning to find out a definitive answer. Is there a ticking clock on, uh, we know for a fact that there's a ticking clock on mandatory funds, much like the Galleria. Is there one on a voluntary fund? Secondly, the other ticking clock we have is administrative fees. Yes, the city collects administrative fees of, depending on who you talk to, between five and 10% each year. Well, the problem with that is the longer we're delayed, the more administrative fees go to the city, the less money that there's available for traffic mitigation. So any delay really harms the neighborhood. So we're looking at council member Wendy rule to make sure that we don't run out of time and money in order to get our traffic mitigation for the library square neighborhood. Thank you.